pretty much 11 o'clock. I have finished my meal prepping for the day. There's my protein shakes, my water set up. I have my apples down here, my broccoli as well. My broccoli will go with my lunches for the next couple days. My apple will go with my lunch and my breakfast. I did go ahead and get my egg whites and spinach made for tomorrow and the next day just to go ahead and get that out of the way so I have no excuse of not eating healthy because I didn't have time or I got, a, got ahead of the game. I have also got my dinners for the next couple nights prepped, my lunches as well. Um, I've found that I need to figure out what foods I really like that I consistently can eat back to back, like week to week change it up, but that way I can make like three days at one time. And I'm not a leftovers eater, eater as well. Like I'm that weird person who's like, yeah, I'll get my leftovers whenever I go out to eat, but I usually just bring them home to throw them away at another day. <laughs> or I bring them home for somebody else to eat them instead. I just, I'm not a leftovers person. I never have been. It's kind of weird, I don't know why, but um, so the meal prepping thing, that's a, been a big difference for me too because to me it's like eating leftovers over and over again and I'm just finicky about stuff like that. So I've realized that I need to meal prep like every two to three days. Um, if it's like fish, I'll do like every two days just because, I don't know, it's something to do with like bacteria or something that just kind of like grosses me out. But um, I have, this has been kind of like my go-to staple here recently in the last two weeks. I don't know why I've kind of fallen in love with this, but it's um, spinach. I do the ground turkey with my taco seasoning and my guacamole, avocado, whatever. Um, and then I have my egg whites and spinach for my breakfast. But quite honestly, you know, if it wasn't for even Heather staying on me, like they have been of making sure I'm showing up to my classes and making sure that I'm doing my meal prepping like I'm supposed to be, I would be falling off the bandwagon right about now, like I have 700 million times before. Um, so I am extremely thankful for them for keeping, helping me keep me in mind, helping me keep my final goal in mind. Because quite honestly, this six weeks isn't my goal. You know, it's the smaller picture and the bigger picture. Six weeks is that, you know, first step in. But for me, it's a full change of life in general. I'm looking forward towards my 12 months, my two years, my three years from now. Teaching my kids this as well. You know, it's something that I'm, I'm changing. And it's going to keep changing and only progressing and getting better from here. But... Um, now I'm un on my unlimited workout classes, so I'll be signing up for that, figuring out how my schedule's going to work these next couple weeks and what's really going to work where I can faithfully stay dedicated and committed and signing up for classes like I need to be and going to them like I am signing up for as well. But um, quite honestly, I really look forward to these next few weeks bring and staying on track and keep on going. So y'all stay tuned.